Welcome to day three of the Rock Your Closet Challenge. I'm Susanna Kay, and today we're talking about protecting your folded and your hanging clothes. Now, if you have folded clothes that you are not using very often, so you don't need fast access to them, the best way to protect your folded clothes is with a storage container. Something like this fabric bin is fantastic because it does not hold humidity in, but it has a window. Uh, we'll talk more about different types of containers tomorrow, but this is a perfect way to store a lot of those folded clothes so that way they don't get snagged from things around them or from the shelves and the piles don't fall over and it keeps the dust off of them. Now you can use these containers for some clothes if you have an easy access spot to the container. You could use it for your active folded clothes, but for me in my closet, the only place for containers is higher up. So this is just for my inactive clothes. Now for the more active folded clothes that you're pulling from more frequently, one of the best ways to protect these is to make sure that you don't store them with piles that are too high. So I'm talking, make your piles maybe four or five items high and not much higher than that. If you need more storage, add another shelf versus making the piles higher. And the reason for this is as you're pulling things out, a lot of times you'll end up having to pull out the one from underneath and you start snagging the clothes next to it. The piles start to fall over when they're too tall and it gets your clothes all wrinkled and they're much easier damaged that way, much more easily damaged. So shorter piles are going to help your fold of clothes that you're using often. Now, as far as your hanging clothes, with hanging clothes, the velvet coated hangers are the best for your hanging clothes. Now, the reason for this is a lot of times those plastic hangers or the wire hangers or wood, the clothes easily fall off of them. And if they're getting tangled and falling off and hanging in your closet or falling on the floor, that's not protecting your clothes very well. They're going to get wrinkled and probably damaged. So the velvet holds the clothes onto the hanger much better. Plus with these velvet types of hangers, they're very thin. So unlike the wooden hangers or the thicker plastic hangers, they take up a lot less space in your closet. A lot of times with those wooden hangers, they look beautiful, but they're taking up twice the space. So you can fit so much more into your closet with the very slim velvet hangers. Now I will say velvet hangers can be difficult if you have the full size velvet hanger and you're using it on something with a narrow neck. Um, guys tend to not like the velvet hangers as much because they do have the narrow necks, narrower necks usually. Those can be a little bit more difficult to get in and out. So you may want plastic hangers if you do find on certain pieces that the velvet is making it difficult. What I do like to do primarily though is get the velvet hangers that do not have a bottom uh, piece so that way they fit in through the neck holes a lot easier. But they're going to protect all of those clothes from falling off the hangers. They're going to save you space and they're gentle on the fabric, which is nice. Now with your velvet hangers, you can actually store outfits together if you'd like as well, or with any hangers. Um, sometimes what I do, if there are items that I only wear together, then I will actually store them on the same hanger sometimes. You can like this one pair of shorts, this is the only shirt that matches it and looks good. So it's the only shirt I ever wear it with. So I just tuck it right inside that saves space in my closet and my drawers. It makes it really easy to find the shorts and um, with the velvet hangers, it's going to keep it from sliding off also. But those are some ways to protect your hanging and your folded clothes. Another important part of protecting our clothes is making sure that your closet is not too full. So when you have a lot of items in your closet and they're stuck really close together, you need to really push and pull to get items in and out of your closet. That's horrible for your clothing. It's going to wrinkle your clothes when they're stored in the closet, smooshed together. And it also makes you less likely to enjoy doing laundry. So you'll do laundry a lot easier if you have a closet where there's more space in between items on the rod or uh, smaller piles if you're doing folded clothes, but if you can put things in and take things out easily, it's going to protect your clothes and make you hate laundry a little less. So hopefully that helps. Keep on doing what you're doing just one small step at a time and you're going to have 
an amazing closet, beautiful. You got this.